It is a funny subject, and uh, that, that's been the, the real challenge, is to get per uh, people to seriously consider uh, a funny subject, uh, but to consider it seriously. Little kids are obsessed with talking about gross, ooey, icky things, you know, and so then you have the smell. Oh, I think it's because it can be kind of musical. Uh, uh, because it's malodorous, uh, because it sneaks out, uh, because it can be lighted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We just have a society that thinks that uh, tooting is uh, pretty funny. Uh, many people consider me the flatulence guru, but there are actually many people that get angry. Uh, I get calls and uh, letters all the time from people uh, that uh, work around others that have uh, a lot of bad gas in their cubicles. And... <laughs> And uh, people get downright angry with them uh, that uh, they're doing this in the office and, and stinking it up. And uh, these people are looking for solutions. Here's a lady that wrote me a question. I have had flatulence just about every day for a year now. I have lost my job and about ready to give up on any social gatherings. My name is uh, Dr. Larry Helvey. I am Director of Emergency Medicine at St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids. And we are going to talk about flatus. And flatus is also known as gas in light terminology. It's also known as some other words, but I'll leave that to the viewer's own imagination. Uh, flatus is gas in the bowel. Uh, how do we get gas in our bowel? Uh, we swallow it. We get it. Um, uh, it can go from our bloodstream into our bowel. And it also is produced by bacteria in our colon uh, where we have undigested food. One of the uh, substances produced would be methane, and so that's why uh, some people have, uh, you know, have, you know, can light their 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 flatus. Uh, so they also produce this hydrogen sulfide, which gives it that very unpleasant odor, um, and um, and the reason it's noisy is because you're not careful. <laughs> I have had um, IBS since I was about 16. I wasn't diagnosed with it then, but when I look back and think about my life, I'm, I'm sure that I've had it. I was probably diagnosed when I was about 20. And through um, being diagnosed with that, I've had to watch my diet. I know that diet and stress and lack of exercise, um, a lot of different factors influence that. I think the, the kidney bean would be a classic. The chili, you know, chili is probably classic. Uh, I think that every, everybody in the audience would say, you know, maybe cabbage would do it. I mean, there's certain foodstuffs that do that. Uh, some people think that drinking too much carbonated uh, beverages uh, create, you know, that's carbon dioxide. But usually that's absorbed back into the bloodstream and you actually belch that back out. So you can actually belch some of your bowel gas, interestingly. Flat D Innovations may help you. We want to be number one in the flatulence segment. Uh, we found that uh, it was easier to say flat D uh, th but then the, the real name of the company is Flat Dash D, and that's uh, short for flatulence deodorizer. It's an activated charcoal cloth that is laminated by two cloths of polyester on the exterior, and that gives it some strength and uh, makes it washable. This is a pad that's placed in the underwear next to the buttocks, and we have a mannequin here showing uh, a pad that is secured in the underwear, and we use double-sided tape and that secures it to the underwear. It's, uh, and then it's held in place like that. And when past gas, it uh, goes through the cloth and absorbs the odor. I'd be happy to explain the technology of activated charcoal it is a highly porous material. And it has a lot of uh, nooks and crannies and grooves. And as uh, gas passes through it, it is, uh, picks up the little odor molecules and it acts like a one-way sponge so as the activated charcoal gets filled up it, uh, it can't be released. Sure, the three-pack is very popular. One to wear, one to wash, and one for a spare. Mm -hmm. 
absolutely it's given me confidence uh, because I don't have to worry about, you know, when I am having the flare-ups and I know that eating anything is probably going to bother my stomach, um, when I'm wearing the Flat D product, I, I don't have to worry about getting the horrible stomach aches and being out in public and being embarrassed. And, um, and you know, like I said, we, we all have flatulence and the only difference is I'm not out there polluting like everybody else. So if there's an odor, it's not going to be coming from me. <laughs> don't blame Jane. That's right. Or my dog. <laughs> now they can't blame it on the dog. Yes, we don't. We have some people that are a little angry with us for coming up with this and they can't blame it on the dog anymore. In our evolution of being number one in the flatulence products, uh, and the number one question we've received from our customers is, do you make this for dogs? My dog is really smelly. You know, help. So we have uh, come up with two designs. Uh, one is a dog thong type of uh, design, and it uses our activated charcoal cloth, and it has a little tail hole through it, but you can see it protects or covers up the back end of the dog real well so that as they pass gas, it absorbs that gas odor. They stay. Okay. All right, this... Right. Good girl. She's a pretty mild-mannered dog, and um, so I thought, you know, she doesn't have problems all of the time, but when she's scared um, during storms or gets sick, then we notice odors from her that are really kind of gross. So I thought, you know, let's try it, and it's amazing. It, it works just like the product for humans, and um, it's we appreciate it. Now, have you figured out a solution for the noise that sometimes goes along with yeah, that's a common question about the noise. Uh, our product does attenuate the noise a little bit, but we all know that you can uh, cover up a noise. You can cover up the noise, but you can't cover up that odor that just permeates. And you can't cover that, but our product absorbs that odor before it gets out.